Cool, cool, and nudes, it's your boy Winger785 here for some more fun and games, and today we have Hashtag Influenced. I really don't know much about this. I think it's a horror game slash kinetic novel. I just saw it on a Jio and I figured it would be kind of fun. Content warning, this game contains mentions of <laughs> whatever, violence and something. Ooh. That is some music. The title of the screen didn't have any music at all, which was a bit weird. Ooh. I think that'll be good. What does it look like? Ooh, I actually know. Want it just a bit below my voice. Yeah, that should be good. Ooh. Uh, also. I max out tech speed every time. As you can see, this game is made in Ren P, and I'm looking forward to it. To really care what other forward time. It's a beautiful spring evening, perfect for exploring the city. And Dolly Pearson is taking full advantage of it by sitting here in her apartment, smoking her last cigarette, and scrolling through her Instapix feed. Ugh. Everyone and their moms are wearing the sheer lipstick. Selfie Beauty's Cotton Candy Parade. She has it in her bag right now. Detox, do I have any left? No. She keeps scrolling. Can I interact with this? No, okay. I should drink some water. But she keeps scrolling and takes a drag from her cigarette. She opens up her own profile again. Ooh. Dolly Pierce and Loveless Dolly. 5200 50, followers. 2500 following, 47 posts, part time photographer, full time model, part time model, full time everything. That's interesting. Though he looks at her profile picture, she's cute in it. It shows off her dainty hands, her big lips, her pouty, her big eyes, pouty lips. In it, she's looking away from the camera. Mysterious. So I guess that's just our look every day. Mysterious. <laughs> That's a bit odd, but alright. Why? What is this not sync up with that? That's a bit odd. It's not good enough. She's not good enough. But she should be. She's 5 foot 4 with inserts. Has long brunette hair with extensions. And weighs 115.25 pounds. And yet, granted she's not doing too terribly. But her modest following is just that. Modest. She keeps scrolling and stops. Vanessa John. Nessa Nessa. Eight oh three followers. Oh boy. Eight oh three key followers. Six hundred and nine following. Three hundred and sixty two posts. God damn. Trying to leave it better than I found it. NYC Beast Creator DM for business opportunities. That is crazy. Actually, let me scroll back up. Is that your picture then? She has a pic of you on her profile. How is she always traveling? Dolly scans her profile again. Every picture is perfect. Cute, classy, genuine, friendly, authentic. As though it would be perfectly natural for the girl in the photos to strike up a conversation with you while waiting in line at a coffee shop. Bullshit. Ugh. She tried all these poses, they don't work. Dolly crushes her cigarette on her windowsill and watches the butt drop onto the sidewalk below. I need some self care. She looks around the room, she looks at the room, around for her ideas. But nothing in it jumps out at her. It's a modest studio apartment, it's a type that was built in the 70s, where everything is beige beige carpet, beige walls, beige lights, and not the chic loft that an influencer should be living in. She tries to make it more palatable. Most of her budget goes towards new outfits and meals at cute restaurants. But living space just isn't a priority. Dolly sighs and looks down on her phone again. Her newest post has 500 likes. Not bad, not great. Portrait afternoon might be Ashley Doll. Oh. So it was a collab. A lot of hot love for Sully. Interesting.
Actually, was it a collab? I want to say it's a collab, but I think this turned me off and it's not. Oops. As she switches back to her feet, she notices that Vanessa has made a new post. And the background looks of the photo looks familiar. I moved, ready for a new adventure. Hashtag blessed, hashtag new adventure, hashtag adventure awaits. Oh boy. Mm? That's my neighborhood. But I told Vanessa lives in New York. I wonder if she's the thing. 20,000 likes. Fuck. I wish I got that many likes every time I posted an alien emoji. How does she do it? Dolly looks at the photo again and studies the background. It's definitely her native shop. Her, her neighborhood. Somewhere right by the coffee shop where she works. Hmm, maybe. Second in breath, she sends Vanessa a private message. Hi Vanessa, I'm Dolly and I'm a huge, huge fan. I noticed you just moved, I actually live right around here. I'd love to meet up sometime, hashtag new friends. Shit, was that too many exclamation marks? One, one, two, three, four, is that too many exclamation marks? I don't think so. Not enough. Uh, probably add one more. But it seems fine as it is. Red. <laughs> oh god. Typing. Huh? Hi Dolly. Wow, it's so great to meet someone local. I'm such a cutie too, lol. OMG, I can't wait to meet you IRL. It's so nice of you to offer to be my guide. I can't wait to take you up on that offer. We're going to be going all over the city, you know? <laughs> I can't wait to show you everything. If you like cute cafes, I'm your gal. Yay! I'm such a coffee addict, you have no idea. I feel like it's a crime for me to be playing this game. And I should have dragged Bonnie or Daisy along with me for this. <laughs> oh god, what do I see? Can you give me a shout out? No. Hey Vanessa, want to take a selfie together? Oh, it's too clingy. Oh, by the way, I'm just starting out in the whole Instapix thing. And I'm wondering if you had any tips for me. OMG, you're doing great, girl. You don't need tips. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, lol. Hmm, okay. Well, if you are just starting out and you want a little help, I actually do know someone. He's my agent. At Mr. E. He's amazing, OMG. He will get literal miracles if you just do what he tells you to. Like, just like slide into his DMs. He'll take care of you. Mr. A, huh? Zero followers, zero following, zero posts. Seems legit. <laughs> what? Lol, but his profile is empty? Is he really an agent? Let me, sorry, I forgot how it looks. Yeah, he is. He's just really private. But he's just the best. Ah, fine. Hi, Mr. A, my name is Zoli. I'm an up and coming influencer. I was referred to you by Vanessa at Nessa Nessa. She said you could help me with my career. Hello, Miss Pearson. Oh fuck, what do I see? <laughs> yeah, I see you have potential. I believe I can help your career. Fuck, fuck. It will not be easy. Being an influencer is hard work. A commitment. You have to be willing to hustle. Can you do that? Yes, of course. The hustle is real. Well, Dolly sits up straight up. She's watched countless videos on how to grow her audience. She spent hours and hours perfecting the perfect smile, the perfect angle. She's braved the awkwardness of taking countless selfies in a crowded area, ignoring the smokes and the looks thrown her way. She's born for this. Alright then, I have a toss for you. Cut your hair. What? Haha, <laughs> my hair, why? Oh, huh? Gloves are in. 80% of my clients have them. Or will have them soon. I think you're here too long. Trust me. But Vanessa doesn't have a love. She will. You will have a cliff. Oh yeah. Post it on your blog. Tag with hashtag chop chop. Hashtag new me. Are logs in coming to fashion? She had no idea. She has been three long years growing it out. Cutting it off just... Cutting it all off just because some stranger on the internet told her to seems extreme. But isn't that what all fashion blogs are? 
tell her what he had to have, what to wear, what makeup to use. Every single piece of advice was some was from some stranger on the internet. I fucking I don't know how to feel about the music. <laughs> like he goes over here cautioning if this is really the right thing to do. And the music's just amping up, bumping the beat. God fucking dumb. She pulls her hair back, looks at it in the mirror, and it's not a bad look. Her hesitation's gone. And even with some excitement, she sets her phone up to record a video. With shares in one hand and her hair in the other. She slowly but steadily slows her hair off. Ooh. I hope Vanessa's right. Love and Dolly, fresh cut, hashtag, chop chop, hashtag, near me. I did it. Good Dolly, I'm so proud of you. You're gonna be amazing. So now you'll help me. There girl, I already did. Huh? Her follow account had just shot up to 10,000. Her selfie, the one she just posted, had 5,000 likes. She pulls down and refreshes. Dolly can't stop smiling. She has never seen numbers like this. Engagement like this. Wow, you're so cute. Loved in your hairdo. I love your makeup. You are a literal perfection. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm more really curious now. People are commenting on her photos, even ones from her archive. People love her. This is it. Dolly can feel it in her heart. This is finally her big break. Ooh, Vanessa. Hi Dolly. So good to finally meet you. See you. Thanks for inviting me. Damn. That is something. Yay, thanks for coming. I'm so excited to hang out. I have something huge to tell you. Selfie Beauty contacted me the other day and they want to do a collaboration with me. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. That is amazing. Yeah, we're still hammering out the details, but. Ah! <laughs> I'm not doing squeals, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so happy for you. Yeah, thank you. It's... Oh no, are you crying? I've just wanted this for so long. Oh my god, don't cry. I bought you some cronuts from Donut Touch Me. Hold on. <coughs> Donut Touch Me? That is... So cringe, it gave me cancer. Oh god. Flavor of the month. They're so cute, you have to take a look. What? Don't want to touch me? Doesn't that place usually have a line around the block? Vanessa winks at Dolly, handing over two boxes covered in bright bold shapes. Cursive letters and not a hint of a donut everywhere. Well, the owner knows me, or knows of me at least. He gave me these boxes free. Ooh, new love of Sully. What's in the box, can you guess? Delicious surprise. We have to post about them though, and I promise that the cutest chic is cool. He's gonna hear about it in two months, he's gonna post about it. He loves being ahead of the cool. At first it seemed like something terrible was gonna happen. And now it feels like this is a fucking cult. But I don't know, we'll see. Oh thanks. Dolly takes a cronaut out of the box, holds it up to the wall. She then lowers it. The wall is exposed brick. The type of exposed brick in a heritage building or something. But her apartment is a gross, brutalist type of building. Made of concrete and drywall. My wall? Huh? That wall? You told me you was getting s that sticky wall beer that looks like brick. It looks great. Wait, I did? Yeah, we bought it online, remember? I said I'd come apply it with you. Looks like you did it yourself. Great job. This is a wallpaper? Dolly reaches out to touch the wall and Vanessa stops her. Come on girl, let's take a selfie with this. I <laughs> don't know how to feel about this. When Dolly turns back to look at her, Vanessa's already Vanessa already has a mini tripod set up with her phone on it, pointing at the both of them. Dolly still feels confused, but she goes along with it, taking the cronut and positioning herself beside Vanessa. Right here in the light. <laughs> the light in here, right here. <laughs> Makes your skin look amazing. Okay, just act natural. Camera flashes. The camera flashes. The camera flashes. Which one is cute? This one, don't you think? Oh, look at us. We're just adorable. 
Okay, let me just throw this corn out of the way. Wait, you're not gonna eat it? Well, maybe like one bite, but I'm actually on a juice cleanse right now, so I probably shouldn't. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? Yummy, Kronos from Donut Touch Me. If you haven't been here, you're missing out. No filter, blessed Donut. How's the... Hold on. As Vanessa's typing, <laughs> the music fucking changed. Her animated expressions fall off, and her typing slows until she's just holding a phone and staring at it, blank, unmovingly. Her hands drop to her lap, her phone with it, and she looks up, her expression blank. Um, Vanessa, are you okay? Vanessa turns to Dolly with a frantic look in her eyes. Dolly, do you ever get the feeling that this isn't you? Um, you? You mean like, you don't feel authentic? No, like, your life isn't yours, and when you do things, there's someone else inside you doing those things. Uh, like, your inner child? My voice doesn't even sound the same, this isn't my voice. What are you talking about? Can you look inside my mouth to, to see if there's a scar somewhere? What? Just then, Vanessa seems to snap out of it, and the weird panic look in her eyes goes away. Oh my god, the look on your face. I'm sorry I scared you, babe. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> I'm just the worst. Let me make it up to you. I'm gonna throw a party next Saturday. I know some caterers, the band, and I'll even invite some friends. Do you know Jungman Fitness? Jungman? You, you're serious? Isn't he busy? He said he's gonna be there for sure. I'm so excited. I'm just looking for venues right now. My apartment is still such a mess. Oh, why don't we use my place? Oh my god, that'd be perfect. You're the best. <laughs> oh boy. Dolly glows. She's nervous and excited. She's helping Vanessa, the Vanessa, throw a party for all her famous influencer friends. She can't fuck this up no matter what. Vanessa gets up and brushes off her lap. I should probably get going. I have a couple of videos I need to edit. But it was super fun getting to hang out. We should do it more. Yeah, for sure. Let's get lunch in time. Oh, but... Yeah? Well, I don't know how to say this. No tea, no shade, but Jungmin can be a little snooty. Snooty? What do you mean? I mean, I don't know. Because he's been nothing but a total sweetheart to me. But I heard from my other friends that if you don't have 70,000 followers, he won't even talk to you. Oh. Wow. I mean, that's just what I heard. I don't know for sure. Maybe it'll be fine. Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'll just win him over with my charm. Well, he smiles awkwardly. Which you have in spades. You're the best. See you next week, hon. Vanessa leaves and Dolly immediately starts panicking. Are all of Vanessa's influencer friends stuck up? Are they all going to judge her for having a measly 17,000 followers? She checks her profile as she starts to prepare her lunch. 43 new followers today. Ugh. Ooh, God, the music changed again. Hi, Mr. E. I was wondering if there's anything I can do to help me grow my audience. Hello, Dolly. Yes, I can think of something, yeah. Cut the letter E into your palm, collect any blood in a shot glass. Pour it on your lunch and post a photo of it. I'll see it. Her palm? <laughs> 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 the goddamn cult shit is real, oh my goodness. Oh, that's great. Dolly looks at her hand, her perfectly manicured fingers, and the smooth skin that she always buys expensive lotion for. She takes out a knife and puts it on the point of her palm. Puts the point of it on her palm. Her mind starts racing. Will it hurt? Of course it'll hurt, but it's just a little cut. And it's on the palm of her hand where no one will even see it. Besides, we got as a perfect looking palm, she's gonna she's just gonna be stuck as a wannabe. But it's not just a cut, it's an initial. It'd be a brand. Dolly looks at her follow accounts again. Will her followers be able to tell it's her blood in our lunch? Would they mind? Wouldn't they find it gross? Does she have to make a brand new lunch or is it fine she's eating less of us? 
If she does this, does it mean she never has to eat leftovers again? Does it mean she can eat cute lunches every day? Before she can talk herself out of it, she sticks a deep breath and cuts it into her palm, wincing at the pain. The blood wells up and starts stripping down her palm. She quickly pulls out a shot glass and places it on a counter. She feels dizzy. I'm watching the blood drip down her palm into the glass was strangely mesmerizing. She feels like a stunning black. It smells like burning. Until her shot glass is filled with a thick inky liquid. She blinks and reaches to pick it up. But when she holds it up to the light, it's just a glass of blood. She then pours it on her lunch. Ah, oh, very well done, well hidden. Fucking spaghetti and meatballs. Home cooking is so purifying. Hashtag homemade, hashtag delicious, hashtag health. Good enough, I hope. Done and posted. Do I have to eat it too? No, that is enough. Good job. Thank you. She checks her profile. She's gained 2,000 new followers. Dolly's smile grows wider. The still bleeding cut in her palm forgotten. Huh? Cronus with Nessa Nessa. Is there a better way to, to spend your morning than with a literal goddess? Cronut, I love my life, brunch plus. When did I post this? Huh? Wow, I didn't know you and Nessa Nessa were besties. You two are so cute together. We stand two literal queens. Dolly starts getting notifications from her most recent posts. Oh, yeah, yeah. Huh? Oh shit, I'm getting blood on my phone. <laughs> ah. The music, god damn. Over the next few days, her follow count steadily increases. Jeez, 68k. It ticks up to 68,000 where it stalls. Blood doesn't do anything different. She posts selfies, she goes to cute coffee, house, cute coffee shops, and posts photos of her lattes and cookies. She doesn't drink or eat them though, she's on a juice cleanse. It's not inauthentic to do that. She just wants to spare her fans the misery of knowing what it's like to be on a juice cleanse. The pangs of hunger, the dizziness, the exhaustion. I want to check something real quick. Okay, no. If there is a change in figure, I don't see it. It's just outfits. I'm literally starving myself over here. Just to look good for my fans. And I've gotten only 200 new followers yesterday. Entitled assholes. She takes a sip of her juice, which tastes like grass water. Who said that this juice is supposed to taste good anyways? Hmm? Ooh. Vanessa and Jungmin's post has 13,000 likes. It's always a blessing to hang with real friends. Hashtag friendship, young star, coffee break. God damn. <laughs> this is the same place I went to. God, 13,000 likes? Seriously? Oh, here's Jungmin. Jungmin Fitness, 1.06 million followers. 2,000 following. Fucking almost 600 posts. LA Beast Professional Trainer. New podcast, Powerlifting Updates on Wednesday. New nice City Plan is out. Powerlifting.com. Oh, Powerlifing.com slash Night City Plan. That is something. Dolly clicks on Jungmin's profile, looking through his posts. Jungmin, who the hell does she think he is anyway? Just because he works out. God, he probably never shits up about it. It doesn't make him better than everyone else. Ooh. Hey girl, how are you? Why have you not spoken to her since that day? Since the first day? That's odd. I'm gonna go ahead and assume it's just the call or the developers didn't think of it. But that's kinda weird. I don't know, maybe I text my friends too much. <laughs> Hi babe, how's my favorite caffeine addict going? Lol, you see my post Jungman Fitness? How? <coughs> I saw you go there and I'm like, oh my gee, OMG, that place is so cute, I have to go. 
I tell you, I know all the best thoughts. How was your coffee date with Jungman? OMG, it was so fun. He's so funny, you'll see when you meet him. Yeah? Yeah, I actually tried to invite you but when we went, but... But... Well, he's never heard of you before and he's kind of like shy, I guess. Shy my ass. God, what a stuck up dick. Hopefully he's not too shy to come to the party. Oh yeah, I'm so excited about that. It's tomorrow, right? Wait, what? Isn't it on a Saturday? What? OMG, it is. I've already told everyone it's tomorrow. OMG, should I tell everyone to postpone? I don't know who can make it if I move the date. No, it's fine. My bed might still be here, though. You're the best. I'm so, so sorry. I have concerns. It's okay, lol. Is Jungman coming? Oh, I honestly don't know, lol. I guess we'll see. <laughs> Her follow account is at 68,000. Oh, great. I need 2,000 followers. What can I do? Hello, Dolly. It's not gonna be easy. Is it ever? Of course. I'm ready for anything. Alright. Cut your ring finger off and place it on the windowsill. Uh... Uh... You're fucking joking, right? No. Dolly stands up and starts pacing around. What the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck? She looks at the scabs across her palm. It's only been a week. It still hurts. She's been keeping it in a plastic bag when she showers. She takes the steam knife from her kitchen drawer, tests the edge with it. It's sharp. I don't know if I can do this. I understand. Good day. Dolly feels dizzy. Disoriented. Her ring finger. What if she wants to get married at some point? What would she do if she got married and she... she... Dolly looks at her follow account. She pulls down to refresh. Shit, 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 shit. Wait. Wait, I can do it. Oh, it's, it's dropping. It was dropping, was it? Oh yeah, from the time. Damn, that is good attention to detail. Just give me a second. I need some weed or something. I'll wait. <laughs> she doesn't even know she can cut through the bone of her finger. She can feel her feet start to get hot and her vision starts to swim. Is she doing this? Is this really happening? She looks for something to bite down on, but just grabs a handful of scrunchies and stuffs them into her mouth. She looks on her hand. It's shaking. Her manicure is the same one from last week, when Vanessa visited. It started to chip at the corner. She can't afford another one. She hates it. She hates seeing her manicure suffer. She hates that she can't afford to keep up a perfect facade. I can do this. I can. I will. She picks up the knife. And with all the strength she has, brings it down on her ring finger. With a crack, the knife lands on the chopping board. Her finger is gone, cut off at the second knuckle. Oh, that's bad. It's not mine. Just... A thing. She puts it on the windowsill without opening her eyes. She never sees it again. She takes the shit she has lying around and wraps her hands up in it. It hits a throbbing, burning pain that's shooting up her hand. She doesn't know how she's gonna handle it. She's taking in big gulps of air, and the edges of her vision is white. She wipes the blood of her other hand and fumbles around for her phone. I did it. You are a brave girl, Miss Pearson. I knew you could do it. Oh, it is flying up now. Hold on, how long is it? Oh, jeez. Don't worry, I'll take care of you. The follow accounts again. That's way beyond 7,000. 70,000. It's getting closer to 85,000. She did it. She did what she had to do. Dolly drops her head back and sits up against the wall. Fuck the juice cleanse, I'm ordering a burger. Ooh. 
I appreciate that it's bandaged up, but how do you explain that? Hey! Oh my god, your place looks amazing. I can't even tell it's the same place. Haha, <laughs> well, I just moved some things out of the way. Whatever you did, it is amazing. Oh, let me introduce you to some people. They love you. The lights in her apartment are dim. Clouds of smoke hung in the air, making everything look easy. Shadows of people cluster to roads. And all they didn't recognize half of them, despite letting them all in. All they had to... They all just had to see the name Vanessa and they were welcome. The atmosphere was soft, romantic. As Vanessa pulls Dolly through the crowds, people would smile and wave at them. And they are just as likely to make eye contact with Dolly as they are with Vanessa. Dolly smiles back and... Oh, smiles and waves back, making sure not to use her bandage hand. Let's take some selfies, I bet my followers would love it. Oh, should we find a cute background? No, we don't need that. Our fans will love us either way. Mm, okay. God damn. They take a selfie and in the dim lighting, the faces are slightly burly, blurry. But in a good way, Dolly thinks. It makes them look real, just two girls hanging out. Ooh. I kinda like that picture, not gonna lie. Butterfly emoji, hashtag blessed, hashtag besties. Look, it already has 500 likes. <laughs> Not too shabby, huh? Wow, great job, Dolly. Oh, hey, there's Jungman. Hey, Jungman, this is Dolly, you know, love plus Dolly. Oh, yeah, hi, Dolly. Hi, Jungman, I'm a big fan. Thanks, man, that means a lot to me. You're very welcome. Oops, I have to take the skull. BAB. Oh, BRB. Nice. I checked out your blog, Vanessa insisted. She said that I'd love you. But Vanessa loves everyone. <laughs> she sure does. Seriously, I've seen her love a dirty dish rag once. Aw, Vanessa. That's, she's so sweet. Yeah, I think she, I think she would have made it even without Mr. E. Uh, what, aren't you? With Mr. E? Uh, yes, aren't you? Figures. There's no way you would have gotten such an explosion of followers if you weren't. Hey! Look, I'm just calling it what, like it is. Calling it to, Just who the hell do you think you are? Well, I'm a fitness influencer, I'm a personal trainer, I've been on Instabix for 7 years, and most of all, I'm someone who doesn't have to eat my nails to get followers. What? Hey girl, I know you- I know that you're- Oh my god. Hey girl, I know that you're with that weird cult that buys you followers. I can keep quiet. I'm just just a goddamn second. Just cause you're some dumb jock who didn't make it into college. I'm some dumb I'm some jock who didn't make it into college? At least I'm not some talentless dropout. What's your blog about, huh? What's your brand? What do you do? I I I thought so. Just then there's a crash coming from the other side of the room. And there goes fucking idiots. Is that Vanessa? Oh god. Jumpman and Dolly both look over to see that a girl has fallen over and knocked over a mirror. She has the glass all over the floor. There's laughter coming from the crowd surrounding her. What? Dolly moves close to the crowd and they're all cheering. Laughing hysterically. Some are doubled over in laughter. And when she gets closer she can see blood on the floor. Hey Dolly! Vanessa, what's going on? <laughs> We're just, you know. We asked Mr. E. We all did. Oh. Dolly looks at the girl laying on the floor in the middle of the crowd. She looks unconscious. People are taking turns cutting the girl with shards of the mirror. And every time they do, she twitches. Blood spilled from her cuts. And people would wipe it off her and lick it off their hands. Until the whole thing was a sordid, bloody mess. The laughter echoes in Dolly's ears, and she looks around at the people, the influencers, all these beautiful people with dead looks in their eyes, laughing, their faces smeared with blood, all missing teeth or fingernails, bruises around their necks. Come on, Dolly. Text Mr. E. Aye. Behind her, she hears Jungman's laugh. 
She whips around to see him standing behind her, not doing anything, just watching, with a look of disgust on his face. Yeah, Dolly, just text him. Hmm? Dolly shoves Vanessa aside and picks up a shard of glass and kneels on beside the girl. My fans love me. They adore me. With the shard of glass in her hand, she starts stabbing the girl in the stomach, the chest, the arms. I don't need Mr. E to be an influencer. Dolly's hands and face are covered in blood, but she's still going. The pool, the blood pools on the ground beneath her, looking in the dim light like dark pools of ink. And I don't need his permission to do anything. She punctuates the last word with a stab and finally stops breathing heavily. Her hand drops and she looks around. What? She stands up. The crowd that's congregated around them is no longer laughing. Vanessa stood, her hand covering her mouth, while still drenched in blood. What is it? D Dolly, you just stabbed her. What do you mean I just stabbed her? You were doing it just a second ago. That's different, Mr. E told us to. How is that different? Dolly turns to face the crowd. It was like looking onto a sea of tiny red lights as everyone turns their phones onto her. Everyone is recording this. S stop! What are you guys doing? What do you think? I thought you wanted to show your fans. N no, my fans. They know me. They know I wouldn't. Online celebrity goes crazy at party. Jealous rage or drug news sanity? You decide. Deranged Dolly. Dolly wants to throw up. Her hands are shaking. Experts warn public on the effects of social media after the most recent Instafix influencer scandal. Deranged Dolly. Deranged Dolly. No, what's going on? The notifications keep coming. Her followers keep dropping. Dolly pushes past the crowd and stumbles into the bathroom, still looking at her phone. She locks the door behind her. Why is this happening? They stabbed her too, why is it all my fault? You have to help me. People are tearing me apart online. Please. Hello, Miss Pearson. I'll do it. But it will be expensive. Please, I'm willing to do anything. This is literally killing me. There's a box on the counter. Open it. Dolly turns her head. There's a box in her bathroom counter. It's plain. She tears open the tape. Inside there's an amber jar. What do I have to do? Drink this. Dolly unscrews the cap. It smells bitter. Almost like almonds. It stings her nose. What is it? Cyanide. <laughs> mm? You want me to fucking kill myself? The pain will be temporary. Then this will all go away. What the fuck does that mean? <coughs> Dolly looks at her blood covered hands and sinks to the floor. Her ears are ringing and she can't breathe. She looks at the bottle. Her hands are shaking so hard that she almost drops it. Suddenly, there's a pounding on the bathroom door, and Hall is coming from outside. Dolly jumps and backs away from the door. Dolly! Someone call the cops! Notifications come in, spamming her. Hey, Psycho, why'd you do it? You should be put away. Fuck off, deranged Dolly. Your follow count is down to 80,000, you lol, you psycho bitch. <laughs> Hi, Dolly. Unfortunately, due to recent events, we have to rescind our offer to collaborate with you on our new makeup line. We hope this message finds you well. No, wait. You can't do that. I've already signed the contract. Our contract stipulates that we can back out in the event of our collaborators participating in any activity that may affect the image of our brand. Thanks for understanding. No. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. This is dark. What the fuck does that mean? I promise I'll be okay after this. I promise. You will be perfect. 
Dolly picks up the Dolly picks up the bottle of cyanide and downs it. It hurts. It burns her entire mouth and it burns going down. Her legs feel weak and she falls over onto the ground. She can't breathe and she clutches her throat as it seizes up. She tries to take her breath but there's nothing. Her face feels wet. She can't tell what it is. Blood? Tears? It doesn't matter anymore. The world is fading away from her. Her phone dings with a notification. Dolly glances over. She's barely able to focus, but she can see that it's her profile. And it's updated. <laughs> 3.5 million likes. Every day is a gift. So grateful for all my beautiful friends and family. I am truly hashtag blessed. Add Ness and Ness. <laughs> ah, that's awesome. Well fucking done. Whoever made this is amazing. That was so fucking cool. That just it it cuts straight into the kind of people who want clout but don't care about the people that give them that clout. Like it it's one passing line about engagement, but then it's it's weird. It's <sighs> Okay. So I love this. This was great. This is real fun. I love that I got to, <laughs> to get into this. I got really into this, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, God. It really dives into the mindset of people who want to be famous, but don't have any idea of who they really are. And they latch on to the desperation it shows it highlights desperation people have to be famous and how willing they are to do anything regardless of how self-harming morally ambiguous or fucking suicidal it is that is peak writing i <laughs> yep five stars 10 out of 10, would play again. I would rope my friends into playing this. I'm going to tell Maria to play this. I'm going to drag his ass into this shit. Oh, that was good, man. That was fucking chills. That was great. I, ooh, I'm i glad I called the cult out. But god damn. That was fucking cool. Oh, fuck. I hate... When people offer to buy subs or like buy followers, like personally, and this is just me rambling at this point. Um, I hate when people reach out to me telling me they're into uh search engine optimization, which is basically a way of getting people to see your videos faster. And they say, hey, for $5, I'll see you. And you'll get instant results. And I'm like, I don't have the money for that. And they keep asking. And then the few times I heard from a friend, basically, that this guy was legit. Because there's been a bunch of people. I convinced them to give me a free trial. And when I tell you that free trial, quote unquote, instantly boosted my subscriber interaction rates, everything. It, it just, it feels so much like they're just taking fake, this fake YouTube accounts and subscribing that it fucking irritates me because I don't want a big numbers for big numbers sake. I want big numbers for I'm connecting to a bunch of different people. I'm relating to a bunch of different people. I am interesting people and I'm entertaining people. That's what I want. And so this, this kind of story where it's clear, she's just in it for the numbers 
god, it it's so good. It's ah, uh, it's like a cautionary tale as well. But also, god damn, it fucking validates me. <laughs> oh jeez, all right, that's enough rambling from me. Forty-five minutes. <laughs> If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you subscribe and comment and let me know how you feel about what we just saw, and my take on things. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!